right, Tony Rock. What's what's going on, man? There's, there's these crazy yeah. rumors. I'm, I'm seeing that Bow Wow sent someone to your house. He, he pressed the go button. You know, don't <laughs> mess with a man's family. <laughs> Yo, it sounds crazy. You know, it sounds crazy right I, now. I hear the rumors all the time about stuff happening, and I'm like, I wonder if that's true. And now that I'm actually, unfortunately, unfortunately, my name is involved with these rumors, I see how the shit can spin out of control so fast and be so untrue. Nobody came to my crib. Nobody called me. I got no text messages, no emails, nothing from nobody that I don't talk to every day. I'm, yo, I'll go back. I said something about it on stage Wednesday at the show I do with Russell. Because people was asking about it Wednesday. I said, yo, look, I was on, I was in the crib with my boys. We joking around. I talk on Twitter the same way I talk to my niggas. So I'm like, yo, I said, think about, you know, they're getting, are they, are they still getting married because the show got canceled? Jokingly, like I always joke with my boys, I'm talking to the Twitter world like I talk to my niggas. If you follow me on Twitter, it's some small way you, you one of my people, you know what I'm saying? So I tweet that, a couple of people are like, yo, that's mad funny, that's mad funny. Then I say, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not hating, because, and then a couple of people say like, yo, that's fucked up, you shouldn't have said that. So then I go, I try to, I try a retraction, like, yo, no, nah, I'm not hating on them. Every dude should fall in love with a whore, you know, once in his life. I said a full blown whore, because that's what me and my friends say. We say, yo, like, look at this badass full blown whore right here. Like, that's how we talk. So I tweeted it. Yes, I did. This is in no way me copping a plea. Yes, I said it. Yes, I tweeted it. Yes, I print, press send. I did all that. I didn't know in this whole life of its own. Then I guess somebody put a battery in his back and was like, yo, Tone, this is your girl. And as a dude, you got to you gotta, you gotta protect your girl. I understand that. I'm not even mad at homie. And as you see on my Twitter, I have not said anything about it since then because I'm trying not to put no more fuel on this. Like, let it, let it die down. It ain't nothing. I said a joke, and guess what? 99% of the time when I say a joke, there's at least one person in the room that doesn't think it was funny. You're never going to write a joke or say a joke or joke around with somebody and everybody's going to think it's funny. You know what I'm saying? The greatest comic ever, there's people that go, oh, that one wasn't really that funny, or that one was in poor taste, or that one didn't really reach me, or that one he shouldn't have said. And that's all it was. It was like I said something that I thought, that I thought was funny, that my niggas laughed at, and somebody else thought it wasn't funny. That's all it was. I'm trying not to put no more fuel on it. I'm trying to let it die down. It's nothing. I got no beef with Shorty. There's, there's no, there's no, you know, existing history with us. There's no existing history of me and Bow Wow. I, I've been on 106 a couple of times, met him a couple of times, a couple of parties. It's not like this. Nothing major. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, to be honest with you, it was like a, a joke that some people viewed as it was in poor taste. That was it. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, as a dude. As a dude proposing to a one, to a woman and her accepting his apology, as a man, I should respect that. Like, yo, she's going to be his wife one day. That's something totally different. You know what I'm saying? So as a man, like, I should have respected the fact that that's going to be his wife one day. But now it's like so many people have jumped on it and want to talk about it and try to amp this shit up that I just fell back. Like, let me just chill and let everybody let it die down. But no, to answer your question, no, absolutely not. There was no goons at my crib yesterday. No. No goons at your crib. No go. It's goons in my crib, but it's no, it was no goons at my crib. <laughs> cool, man. Cool. I'm glad you're safe. You know, I mean. Oh, yeah. I'm no, just, no, just no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm very safe. I'm in Chicago right now. The only thing bothering me is the cold weather. 